I actually wonder if he's gonna break my cot. He's so heavy. <laughs> you saw it like sink. Okay, so good. Yes. So what we do is just I'm gonna hold continuous and then guide him on. Good. The moment. Good boy. The moment all four par paws are on, then I release. And it's okay if he's standing up right now because we just want to teach him the concept of. So the moment he steps off, I'm back on the button just to show him that um, the command is to back on the button. So he's Good. supposed to leave because you're leaving? Well, I'm just trying to move around the platform, but I want him to understand to stay on there. Yeah, so we're gonna just repeat that a couple times, right? Because he's still moving a lot, but now he's at least... Staying on. Oh, oh there we go. Good. There we go, much better. Oh, wow. Good. So pushing the button and leading him on. Yes. Okay. And then the moment he steps on, we release. So the moment he puts all four feet? Yes. Perfect. And right now, um, he's staying on. So I'm occasionally giving him affection, a.k.a. he's doing the right thing. And then we will guide him off when it's time. <laughs> he's like anticipating. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll do it one more time because he is, you can already tell he's getting the hang of it. But this time I'm going to ask him for a down. So I can just do this once. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Oh, I thought he would have. Good job. Just hold him like this. Good. And then push the button and walk him on. Hold it and walk him on. Release when. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Guide him in case he tries to like overwalk it. So now just. Walk around him. Oh, and hold on to the yeah, for now, because he's now working with you, and there might be a possibility he steps off. Okay, great. Now you can ask for a down. Good. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, what is? He was dragging his butt, yeah, wasn't he? Was, he was doing a little butt scratchy. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. When you feel ready, you can release him off, and then we'll repeat that again. Nice. And then if you want, then you can actually build distance too, where you drop the leash, or you kind of like go to the far end of the leash. Yeah. So if you break his leg, I'm supposed to guide him back down. Yes. Let me see if I can. Can we get a distraction going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. That was good. Ooh, that was nice. I was thinking that was the right opportunity too. Okay, so maybe be careful about that because okay. um, physical affection seems to be getting him to break more often. So mm -hmm. maybe for now, do like a quick quick one okay. and then take it away Wait. yeah good good so I'm gonna just be okay with him being in my general area no sit is all right there we go I just double tapped him real quick good that's also why I say the movement is good also because we want to test him on whether he will keep coming to us until we stop moving and um, having them recognize that like, you're not supposed to just come where I was standing when the signal was called, you have to come until I stop moving. Right. Tapping. Okay. Good, I think this is fine. Okay. Good, 
Yeah, I might have to use a leash. So I'll stand near it. Ah, very good. 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 Oh, all right. Okay, so that was a tap and leash guidance. Yes, and another one. And I just blindly bumped it up really quick. Um, because I would say if he does not respond to the first one, don't look at it. Just do a quick turn. Yeah, because we don't have time to be like, I want it at an exact right. like 22, like no, no time for that. That ball entrance was kind of short, wasn't it? Uh -huh. so oh, I saw that. He just looked at it. That was good. So that leash tug wasn't even you, right? It was like him putting 